All right, back here again with another video. I've uh, been contemplating what to do with this empty MK2 cab that I have here. I had it on KLOV for 75 bucks and on Craigslist here for 110. Haven't gotten any bites on it. So the fact that it's in such nice condition, um, I've been thinking about taking this cabinet and converting it into a dedicated Killer Instinct cabinet. Um, all the side art is available at Game On Graphics. I've heard good and bad things about the way it fits. Um, you know, that's the only thing that really concerns me is the the difficulty of putting the side art on. I probably have to have somebody help me lay it out and adjust it properly. But really, all I need to order is the side art and the control panel top art. Um, I already have the control panel sides that your MK Arcade Source Mike printed out a while back for me. And then I have this front decal here. This is just a little bit of uh, adhesive that rubs off um, that I have here that would go right on the front right here. Um, so I pretty much have all the artwork. I just would need to order this and obviously the side art and a marquee from uh, Game On Graphics. Now, the control panel was the other situation. And this is a dedicated MK2 cabinet, like I said, but this has all been routed out to fit this trackball mounting plate on. So what I would do is take this whole piece off and luckily, in my travels with all these machines, I have a dedicated Killer Instinct 1 panel right here. You can see it's already got the art on there, obviously not usable. That was stripped off when I peeled off whatever gun game was on there. But that would be an easy swap to just throw that on there. So, the only thing that is a concern of mine at this point in time, well, there's two things, is the, is the art lining up properly and looking good on the machine. Um, and then the second issue is I took everything, absolutely every single piece of electro uh, wiring and everything out of this machine to redo my JAMA station. And by that, I mean I took out everything, the isolation transformer, all the original wiring harnesses, everything, including the on-off switch. So I could make this more of a, a, a better setup because before I had to plug it in the wall and unplug it every single time I wanted to test the board. This is just flip it on, flip it off. Um, so that's the only thing. Um, I'd have to find... There's a guy on eBay that's got an isolation transformer out of a midway unit, but I don't know, you know about this particular other fitting right here. It's got this up to this point, but not this, the rest of this stuff. And that's all the stuff I need that comes up to like the on-off switch um, and then has all the grounding wires and everything that goes into this big hunking mess right here. I have a couple of dedicated uh, JAMA harnesses from an MK1 and MK2 and some other games that would just, you know, fit right in here perfectly, but I just don't know what to do about that wiring harness. I'm going to try to find some of that on KLV, and if I can, um, you know, I'll just take this and maybe just apply the artwork on a weekend, and hopefully it fits up and looks nice, because if not, I'm it's a lot of money. It's like $240 for all the art. Um, here's the two monitors I have. This one here just needs a cap kit. Uh, it doesn't stretch vertically. It, it minimizes down about 10%. And this one here is the one that came out of this game. And as you can see, it has no chassis. Uh, the guy that repairs my monitors, he's got an extra Wells Gardner. Uh, I forgot what it is. Um, the 27K or whatever the hell it is. The um, Just those regular... Where is it? There's a sticker here somewhere that explains it so I don't have to get corrected on. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't see it in there. Anyways, regardless, he's got a chassis that'll go on there. He showed it on the monitor. Um, and then here's the other MK2 that I'm in the process of fixing up and fully restoring. The only problem I have with this machine, for some reason, everything works. But when I put a bulb in here and I turn the machine on, it automatically shorts the bulb right out. So I've gone through $16 in bulbs, they're like 7 or 8 bucks a piece at Lowe's, um, and I took my other fitting out of this machine and put it in there just by removing the connection, and it did the same thing. So it's something with this wiring in here. I'm not sure what the hell's going on, but something's going on to where the bulbs are popping. Um, so I brought the bulbs back to Lowe's so they were broken because they're pretty good with returns and got two new bulbs, but now I'm afraid to put it in here and actually test it. So if anybody knows a way to figure out what the hell's going on, I've tried the starter cap. That's not it. Um, I just am a little uneasy about putting bulbs in there and blowing seven or eight bucks every time every time I turn it on. So, so but like back to what I was saying, this is a, a project I'm thinking about doing. Um, the artwork is very nice on this one, but really, I mean, I have so many MK2s right now. I don't know what to do with them. So it'd be pretty easy, I think, to just put the Killer Instinct decals right over the top of this. Now, I said remove the monitor. Uh, mounting bolts, take off the control panel, all that stuff, and hopefully line it up with some 
you know, some clamps and then slowly add it and, and kind of take one of those little plastic deals like this. Where is it? One of these little deals here. They give you these at print shops. And you take it and you kind of go like this to get the air bubbles out. And you kind of go like that slowly from the top to the bottom to get the air bubbles out. Um, so that's another thing I might use to uh, accomplish this. So I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to do with this. At this point in time, there is another auction that I attend um, on the 29th. So with my luck, I'd go and spend all this money on artwork and there'll be a dedicated Killer Instinct cabinet in there. So I might just hold off till the end of the month to start this project or order anything else um, just because I don't want to waste money and then be pissed that I did all this and um, and then, you know, have two machines. So that's where I'm at. Um, I can't really think of anything else I'm working on right now. Got a uh, Gauntlet Legends PCB set here that I fixed up. Um, I believe Topless from KLOV and on eBay. Uh, SummitArcade.com or I think it's Summit Arcade. Uh, I'm pretty sure. If you just do a Google search, Summit Arcade, he's coming out with a kit, um, I guess, that has a switch on it with uh, without these stupid hard drives that fail. But you can switch between Legends and Dark Legacy just by the flick of a switch. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping he comes out that soon because I'd like to try that and put this back in its dedicated cabinet and uh, play that game as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Still got the Lexan, as you can see over there, for sale. Uh, anybody that needs it for Killer Instinct, MK1, MK2, MK3, uh, MK4, I got them. And um, that cabinet down there, like I said, I'm just going to restore it. I just haven't had time to get to this stuff uh, from my work. Just been really busy. And that's about it. So hope all is well. And uh, once I make a decision on what I'm going to do with this, I'll make a couple of piece videos and put them together and show you guys uh, before, during, and after. So we'll see you.